بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته everyone and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i'm so sorry but yeah between getting a potential new job alhamdulillah and definitely been working on school and uh, other little projects on the side and just overall mental health per usual you know what i mean you guys i have i have some new developments in my life that are good alhamdulillah and that are obviously still a little worrisome you know i still have some bad habits to kick so i've been up and down like normal human beings but i'm here because i said and i promised that i would never leave you guys so alhamdulillah without further ado i hope that all of you guys have been doing wonderfully i love and miss every single one of you and if you left i still love you for the sake of allah so let's just get into this <laughs> Woo! okay so the <laughs> And hello, new people. Um, Alhamdulillah, if you don't know me, um, I'll go by my stage name, which goes based on my middle name, which is Al. And I hope that you enjoy my channel. So please comment down below what other Islamic-related videos besides listening to Allah's word, which is the best, you would like to watch. Okay? And uh, without further ado, let's listen to Sarat An naba The Tidings by my favorite, and I think everyone's favorite by now, Mashadi Rashid al Fasi. Dang, I almost said his name for so long. Okay. Uh, See, I'm going to get it one day, guys. One day, inshallah. Hey, okay, let's go. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Amma yatasa'aloo. عن النبأ العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون ألم نجعل الأرض مهادا والجبال أوتادا وخلقناكم أزواجا وجعلنا نومكم سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباسا وجعلنا النهار معاشا وبنينا فوقكم سبعا شدادا وجعلنا سراجا وهاجا وأنزلنا من المعصرات ماء ثجاجا لنخرج به حبا ونباتا وجنات ألفافا إن يوم الفصل كان ميقاتا يوم ينفخ في الصور فتأتون أفواجا وفتحت السماء فكانت أبوابا وسيرت الجبال فكانت سرابا إن جهنم كانت مرصادا للطاغين مآبا لابثين فيها أحقابا لا يذوقون فيها بردا ولا شرابا إلا حميما وغساقا جزاء وفاقا إنهم كانوا لا يرجون حسابا وكذبوا بآياتنا كذابا وكل شيء أحصيناه كتابا فذوقوا فلن نزيدكم إلا عذابا إن للمتقين مفازا 
حدائق وأعنابا وكواعب أترابا وكأسا دهاقا لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا كذابا جزاء من ربك عطاء حسابا رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما الرحمن لا يملكون منه خطابا يوم يقوم الروح والملائكة صفا لا يتكلمون إلا من أذن له الرحمن وقال صوابا ذلك اليوم الحق فمن شاء اتخذ إلى ربه مآبا إنا أنذرناكم عذابا قريبا يوم ينظر المرء ما قدمت يداه يوم ينظر المرء ما قدمت يداه ويقول الكافر يا ليتني كنت ترابا Oh my god Oh, uh, I said, and so it ends with Oh I wish that I were dust. That is what the disbelievers are saying on the Day of Judgment. So, also, and Naba is clearly about the Day of Judgment and how the disbelievers are going to react to it versus the believers. Hello, inshallah, us. All right, and everyone watching this video, inshallah, one day uh, we become as much of a pious people as possible. And like I said, despite my issues and struggles that I've been very candid about without going into any detail, I do believe that Allah will save us. Um... And then the thing about it is that you have to look after yourself and try to abide by the Quran and Sunnah and the most reliable sources that we have of scholars as well as, you know, well-learned people such as Muslim Lantern on YouTube and people like this who have dedicated years of their life to studying and paying attention to exactly what Allah's words truly are and so that we don't conflate anything. Um, and, and, you know, and just explaining uh, in, co in comparison to the Hadith and the Prophet of the Muhammad, peace be upon him, that have been verified, the ones that have been verified, and what they say in line with the Quran. And um, it's that simple. And there's an entire science on Hadith. And so, <laughs> so when you hear simple verses like this that are straightforward, oh, how I wish I was dust. Compared to what they're going to have to deal with as a punishment, it really should make you want to tighten up. Now, like I said, Allah doesn't expect you to change overnight. However, however, this is a perfect verse for me because it is, it is and it wanting, it's both me and you and whoever may be listening right now uh, to actually take heed in Allah's words as much as humanly possible and continue to strive towards him to be as close to him as we possibly can be despite any mistakes or issues or problems or scared tactics or even issues or problems in life that we might run into and even you know negative you know things in general that we may not know how to handle in the moment always make do one always call out to Allah outwardly verbally and as if as if he is right here with you because he is right next to you um he is right here with you i mean sorry he's closer to us than our uh, juggler vein which i'll put on the screen here as well as the sarah number which it comes from so anyways without further ado i uh if it rhymes it must be true and i love you and a new one that, that i had just recently because again you guys have to understand i didn't grow up speaking Arabic. <laughs> but anyway, I let know everything. I'm knowing everything about the language and I don't know everything about the religion. So the other one that I learned is Allah Mubarak. So may uh, uh, Allah um, reward you and may Allah bless all of you. I believe that I said that in the correct order. So anyways, thank you guys for everyone who has stuck around. And as, as you can, can see, I'm speaking a little bit better. My OCDs are bothering me as much. Alhamdulillah. Shayateen don't always, you know, have the upper hand unless you, um, well, they never do unless you let them in. Uh, for too long. So anyway, uh, Alhamdulillah, and may Allah reward every single one of you, and I love you. Jazakallah khairan. Alhamdulillah, I love you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 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 Bismillah ar-Rahman